We've heard about the beginning of history when God created our beautiful and diverse world. And we've talked about the middle of history when Jesus sent out his friends to make disciples from every country and tribe on earth. And that includes us and all of the diverse churches all over the world and all their shapes and sizes and all the different kinds of people that are in those churches. So now we are going to talk about the end of history. So remember that God started everything by creating the earth and people and then people messed up. Ever since then, people have been divided by the things that should unite us. Instead of appreciating how God made everyone different, how he created diversity, some people have decided that our diversity was a bad thing. People have even gone to war and killed other humans because they didn't like the color of their skin or their eyes or the way they talked or their style of church. And even more than that, People all over the world, they hurt each other with words and actions because they are afraid of how we are different. That is called racism and prejudice. And many people are sad and hurting or angry and hateful because of those things. God is not part of racism or prejudice at all. God is the one who made us all different in the first place. Diversity was God's very own idea. And God sent Jesus to save all people from all places all over the world. And we know that. But what you might not know is that God's plan doesn't stop there. At the very end of the Bible, a man named John saw a wonderful dream that that was from God and he wrote it down in this dream John saw he saw what would happen at the end of time when Jesus comes back to earth to show all people that he loves them and rescues them John saw the big throne room in heaven where God rules over all the earth and here is what he saw. Then a voice came from the throne and it said, Praise our God, all you who serve him. Praise God, all who have respect for him, both great and small. Then I heard the noise of a huge crowd. It sounded like the roar of rushing waters and like loud thunder, the people were shouting, hallelujah. Our Lord God is the king who rules over all. Let us be joyful and glad. Let us give him glory. It is time for the lamb's wedding. His bride has made herself ready. Fine linen, bright and clean was given to her to wear and fine linen stands for the right things that God's holy people do. And then here is what the angel told me to write. Blessed are those invited to the wedding supper of the lamb. Then he added, these are the true words of God. So what John saw was that in heaven, People of all countries and tribes and languages, they were worshiping God together. They were all wearing the same white clothes that reminded everyone of the way they followed Jesus. The only thing that was different about them was the way God had made them individual, unique, diverse, and special. But they were all following Jesus and praising God and the end of that verse 9, it says they were all invited to a feast. But 
do people who are at war or who hate each other or are terrified of each other sit down at a big feast together? No, a feast is a party. It's with people who love each other, right? So at the end of history, people of all countries and colors will sit down at a table together at the same feast. And the most important guest at that feast will be God. We will all be one people, God's people. Just as God created diversity, that's variety, at the beginning of creation, God will rule over all the different kinds of people as our king at the end of time.